A brand new study just coming out of Wuhan University, yes, Wuhan University in China says that the cause of Parkinson's disease isn't exclusively related just to Lewy body formation in your brain. There is some tie in with your kidneys. I'm Dr. Hassan, board certified trauma anesthesiologist. Parkinson's disease is a very debilitating neurogenitive neuroprogressive disorder that causes a buildup of what's known as Lewy bodies in your brain, which causes a lot of a congestion and then leads to decreased motor response and ability to walk the tremor that you see very uh, uh classically with parkinson's disease brand new research is kind of changing the way that you look at parkinson's disease now if you found this video you're probably trying to do everything you can you might have been diagnosed with parkinson's you might know somebody's been diagnosed with parkinson's this is a cutting edge brand new research that um changes the way that neurologists and people in the field actually think about parkinson's so the disease process itself has a buildup of Lewy body throughout your body, throughout your brain. It causes a tremor, rigidity, akinesia, and bradykinesia. The thought process here is that the Lewy bodies almost cause a uh, traffic jam in your brain that decreases your ability to, or your brain to move as fluidly as it normally does. Um, it's a hallmark by degeneration of dopamine producing neurons leading to a disinhibition of the indirect pathway and impaired facilitation of voluntary movement. The hallmarks are Lewy body and the Lewy bodies are eosin intracytoplasmic eosinophilic inclusions composed of primarily misfolded alpha synuclein. Now alpha synuclein is the uh, pathway that the researchers looked at. They found out that more than likely the cause of the buildup of alpha synuclein in your body starts in your kidneys and then makes its way to the brain. Now, let me read you the abstract of what they found. The pathogenesis the pathogenesis of Lewy body dementia or Lewy body diseases, including Parkinson's disease, involves alpha synuclein, aggregation that originates in peripheral organs and then spreads to the brain. PD, Parkinson's disease, incidence is increased in individuals with chronic renal failure, but underlying mechanisms remain unknown. Here we observe alpha syn deposits in the kidney of patients with Lewy body disease and in the kidneys of the central nervous system of individuals with end-stage kidney disease without documented LBDs. In male mice, we found the kidneys remove alpha synuclein from the blood, which reduced, which is reduced in renal failure, causing alpha syn dep deposition in the kidneys and subsequent spread to the brain. Intrarenal injection of alpha syn fibrils induced the propagation of alpha syn pathology from the kidneys to the brain, which is blocked by renal denervation. Deletion of the alpha syn in blood cells alleviates pathology of the alpha syn A53T transgenic in mice. Thus, the kidneys may act as an initiation site for pathogenic and alpha syn spread and comp compromised renal function may contribute to the onset of LBDs. Now, the reason I bring this up is because in my brain, the way I think about Parkinson's disease is almost like a major highway having an accident and there's some congestion. The treatment protocols that we have, the carbidopa, levodopa, the medications that increase your dopamine, that increase your acetylcholine, they almost force through, um, through the traffic to allow your body or your brain to function as close to properly as possible. There's no cure. Now, you're not really curing the congestion. You're just forcing a lot more uh, transmitters through that congestion and they kind of buy you some time, usually 10 to 20 years as a disease progresses. The idea here is that finding out that the alpha syn does accumulate or start to accumulate in your kidneys has a direct relationship with your kidneys means to me the take home message is if you take care of your kidneys, if you avoid renal failure, you might actually decrease the progression of the disease or stabilize it. Now, obviously there has to be a lot more research. They did this in mice primarily. They have to make it to human studies. But the idea here in my brain, the thesis behind this research makes sense. If you can help clear those, uh, um, inadequacies, if you can clear those problematic alpha synuclein uh, molecules throughout your body, you could potentially decrease um, or decrease the progression or even stabilize it or maybe even cure it. Who knows? But the idea here is that there is another organ involved in the progression of Parkinson's disease. If you are, if you have been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, um, if you know somebody who has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, look at um, look at their kidneys. Talk to your neurologist about the kidneys. See if there's anything you can do to optimize your kidney function. If you have good kidney function, the idea of progression of disease slowing down in my brain makes sense. There has to be research behind that, obviously, but the kidneys are essentially a filter for your entire body, so they get rid of a lot of impurities inside your body. So because of that. Uh, the new research is very interesting for um, those who hope 
to slow the progression of the disease. Now, obviously, uh, Parkinson's disease is a horrible disease process. They don't have a cure right now. All the treatments are to alleviate the symptoms, not really go to the source. This is probably not going to be a groundbreaking or ground shattering as far as a cure inside your brain, like some sort of molecule that goes and grabs all these Lewy bodies or alpha sins. But that being said, the idea that if you optimize your kidneys, it might improve what happens with your Parkinson's disease progression makes entire sense in my head. What do you guys think? This is breaking news. It's uh, brand new. And it's interesting. I, I I found it so interesting that I decided to come down here and make the video uh, as soon as possible. If you made it to the end of the video, you know I love you guys. If you can, please like and share and subscribe and do all those things. I do this all myself in my spare time. I love you all. I'll see you on the next one.